good, very good. Right, yeah, James, how are you doing? Right, yeah, go good, on. good. How you doing, my man? Very good, thank you. you Benissimo, Benissimo. Benissimo. Well, you should be excited because the Winter Olympics are here and everything's happening in one of your Italian cities. Oh, yes, Torino. Turin, beautiful Torino, place. and of course, you know, I'll go for the Italians. Oh, well, you got to, but you go for the Brits, didn't you? Brits yeah, all the way. I go for the Brits, oh, yes. I'm really excited. And talking about the Brits, ladies and gentlemen, our best chance of medal, I think, lies with our guest here today. Let's take a look at them in the European Championships from last year. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, John, How you nice doing, mate? Good, Good thanks. Well, this is probably the biggest event in the skating calendar, isn't it? Absolutely, this is the biggest event. You know, we have every four years, so mm. this is this is the big one. Yeah, do you, still, you get a little bit of a sort of rumbling in the stomach, a little bit nervy sometimes? To be honest, I'm more nervous appearing on this than I am for the competition. <laughs> well, you haven't practiced cooking. Are I you know. good in the kitchen? I'm absolutely terrible. You know, it's, yeah. I, I'm, you know I'm hoping I can pick up something because mm. um, I get away with it because my mum can cooks for me, my coach cooks for me, and even my sister cooks for me, so yeah, it's we're terrible, gonna really. Meet his sister later. They're lovely, lovely, lovely guys. Well, let's have a look yeah, at the bag. Sure. Right, Come on, give it a good old shake, oh. John. Okay. You want to get you some nice healthy food inside you yeah, for competing, didn't you? Absolutely. So tell us what you brought along then. Um, we brought some um, veal here um, yeah. because um, I, I really like you know red meat and everything mm. like that. And it's quite a, I think it's quite a nice um, light red meat. Mm. So you know you can have it at lunchtime and it's not going to sit in the stomach too much. Okay. Um, Scottish cheddar, you know, from home and everything like that. You've got a bit of that. Yeah, yeah, you've got to, you've got okay. to. Um, red cabbage, mm. you know, mostly because um, you know it's nice and healthy and yeah. you know Olympic athlete and all that. So you've got to get some healthy stuff in there. Sure. And um, some new potatoes as well because it's better than the chips so, oh, um, so it's not a bad idea yeah, and you've got so. little baby leeks there and mushrooms absolutely mushrooms. how much did you spend mate um seven pounds 55. well he's a lad up to seven pounds 50. should we let him off <laughs> yeah oh, no oh, i yeah, think they love yeah, you mate yeah. you're lucky what do you think <laughs> chef you happy with that i'm very happy i think it's a brilliant bag and we're yeah. going to come up with some great stuff yeah. Olympic right. food, we're going to do. That, that's what we'll call it. Food for the Olympians. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the other Olympian. She's absolutely lovely. It's his sister, Sinead Kerr. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. How are you? Uh, I'm going to twist you. <laughs> up and down. Up and down and... Whatever. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Uh, he's getting a bit excited, isn't he? Yeah. I'm not surprised. Great to have you here. Have you done lots of training? We have. We've been mm. training really, really hard, um, six days a week, uh, about six to seven hours a day. We, wow. know, we're trying to do everything we can just to be prepared. So, uh, yeah, you've got good. to be. There's a lot of competition out there, isn't there? There is, yeah, yeah. especially from the Russians and the Italians as yeah. well. We're very close to them. I so, know. Yeah. Yeah, touch there you and go, go, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, literally later on this week, these guys will be competing. But let's tip out that bag, see what you've brought along for Gina. Right. I'm sure you two want a nice it. meal, didn't you, before you disappear? Ah, what so, have you got along here then? Uh, we have eat? a tagliatelle, of course. Oh, yes, yeah. got to have some Eccellente. pasta in there. Mango, mm. my mm. absolute favourite fruit. I mm. absolutely love mangoes. Mm. Okay. Um, monkfish, because I'm a fish girl. I really like my fish. And um, I find it quite a nice meaty fish. Mm. So. Um, bit of goat's cheese. A bit of aubergine and a banana, banana shallot. shallot. How much did you spend? Because that's shallot. It wasn't too bad. It was seven forty-nine, so just under. Very good indeed, eh? Yeah. It's shallot. Sis knows See? how to do it. <laughs> seven forty-nine. I've been shopping very often. Yeah, get out you can there tell. Okay. Now, what about this then, Gino? Does it's it... a fantastic bag. Yeah. I especially Grazie. like the tagliatelle. Grazie. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. Grazie. Practicing my Italian. Uh, don't worry, Gino. It's not Mr. and Mrs. They're brother and sister. You're Are right they? Yeah. I'm closer. <laughs> <laughs> James, what are you going to be cooking for John? Right, well, we're going to get some veal and we're going to herb bread crumb mm. uh, Cook it off. We're going to sit that on a uh, crushed potato cake. Wiener schnitzel. Yeah, exactly. Schnitzel, exactly. exactly. Yeah. We're going to do some uh, <laughs> some grilled some grilled leeks with it as well. A lovely, yeah. lovely sharp flavour. Yeah. We're going to get the rest of the veal. We're going to stuff it with the leeks, some of the cheese, roll it up as well. And that one's going to go straight in the oven. We're going to do a roasty potato with that as well. Mm. And then with the rest of this cheddar, because we've got so much, I'm going to make cheese bread. 
Cheese bread. Yeah, we're going to do comfy cabbage, which is cooked down with butter and sugar, a mushroom fricassee around the outside, use some of the leeks up and do a mushroom froth soup. OK, and that will be all wow. done in about two hours, ten minutes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, 20 minutes, oh. how about that? That's, I mean, if you can do that in 20 minutes, I'll be impressed. You will do, they're very impressive. But say that again, that because uh, you do a bit of travelling all around the globe. We do, we yeah. do. Oh, Wiener Schnitzel. Wiener Schnitzel. Because <laughs> that's what you eat when you go away, because you recognise it. Does, it does, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the only thing you recognise. <laughs> exactly. OK, sounds beautiful. You agree? Uh, Definitely. Yeah, looking forward to that. OK, sis, it's your turn. <laughs> what has Gino got up his sleeve OK, for you, then? we're going to do a little bit less than James. Yeah, OK. okay because we only have 20 minutes. <laughs> and uh, we're going to start with uh, tagliatelle. We're going to yeah. do two plates of pasta. One with the uh, monkfish, the uh, shallots and the aubergine, a little bit of tomato paste, so we have a, a red one. And then we're going to do a white one with uh, kind of a four cheeses with the goat cheese, but baked. And we're going to do a nice crust of breadcrumb on top. So it's going to be baked. Then with the mango, uh, with that, the other half of the mango fish, I'm going to just grill it, so it's nice and healthy for you, so you're nice and light. OK, I like that. <laughs> Served with a mango sauce, yes. OK? And yes. the other the half of the mango, I'm going to do mango porcospino con honey and chili. Porcospino oh. is the archicoc, the thing with the spine. OK, oh, yeah, yeah, hedgehog. What? Hedgecock. 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 Potato hedgecock. 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 <laughs> yeah, we've got plenty of hedgecocks all around the countryside, haven't we? Okay. Hedgecock, hedgecock. <laughs> Come on. Does this sound good? Sounds great. Okay. Sounds fantastic. OK, looking forward to it. Oh, yes, they Thanks. might well be floating around the kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. But first, we'll have to give them a little bit of time to start it up, won't we? 20 minutes, to be precise. When I say ready, steady, cook. OK, okay. up, up and away. Wiener schnitzel is in order of the day. The other Wiener scallop there is going to be rolled up and stuffed with cheese and Mushroom baked in the oven. Okay, cool. We've got some crushed potatoes. They're going to be absolutely lovely. Cooking down the cabbage. A lot of cabbage there. I don't know if our chef's going to get through it. He's going to braise that down. We're also going to be having some uh, these leeks cooked down with a little bit of a cheese sauce. Am I right there, uh, chef? Cheese inside it. Cheese inside it. How's he going to get cheese right, inside then. them? All right. Anyway, there's something else later on. We've right, always got we go. lovely recipes okay. here on the program for you. Over this side, two different types of monkfish, and why not? <laughs> One is going to be cooked in a kind of a red tomato sauce with the aubergine and the banana shallot. Lot, and the other one's going to be cooked down slightly differently and, uh, with the goat cheese, which is going to be crumbed, and a little bit of mango going through. This nothing healthy for our lovely Sinead down there with one bag of tagliatelle. Oh. Well, I, think, I think pasta is a great thing, especially if you're on the healthy diet. Yeah. Pasta is excellent. A quick boost of energy, eh, Gino? OK, let's, uh, let's start off down here, guys, and right. uh, see what our chef's got. Mm. So, we need to get the potatoes on, so I'm going to cut them roughly the same size. Uh -huh. Literally, this is just to crush them down. Yeah. Can you get me a, uh, grab me a bit of garlic, please? Yeah, of course, time? mate. Uh, a bit of garlic. So, John, do you have any other uh, sports that you like watching, or are you just so concentrating so hard at doing your figure skating that you've got no time? No, no, I'm, you know, I'm into most sports. You know, like, I'm a real kind of fanatic with football, tennis, you know, absolutely yeah. everything. Because yeah. a lot of the time you can kind of learn mm. different things from the, the, you know, different way people train and the yeah. way they prepare for events. You know, like, um, guys like uh, Lance Armstrong are real inspiration and yeah. things like that. Okay. So, you know, absolutely, you know... Nice and slowly there, John. Now, here, look, try put, put that on right, there. OK. There you go. And then you can do that. See what I mean there, mate? I've got it. Right, like bits of skin floating around as he's doing the old um, <laughs> stuff like that. I'm used to that with sharp blades. I know, mate. I'll get worried yeah. about it. Last thing we want, I want you to win out there. <laughs> OK, Chef, you were talking to me about um, the potatoes and you mentioned the garlic. What were you going to yeah, do Yeah, right, all we do is we just leave it whole and then yeah. whack, whack it on the back of the knife with your hand, straight into the water, bit of salt as well. Yeah. I'll find a little lid. Why, why the uh, garlic and the salt it, in the it, water? It, inf it infuses. Salt brings out flavour. Yeah. Garlic adds more robust flavour to it and mm. like perfumes it. Is the okay. Only way to explain it. So that will definitely be noticeable when you eat it. Oh then. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, 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 Looking definitely. forward to that, isn't it? Just throwing a bit of garlic instead of letting it go all a bit powdery in your cupboard. Throw a bit into your tatties. Okay. Right. Now, what are we making here? Cheesy cheese bread. bread. Yep. Very quickly look at the chef's cheese bread before we pop down and see how Gino is getting really, on with really Sinead down there. So, self-raising flour. Mm hmm. OK, I'm using about 300 grams. Bit of butter there. Oh, you've got I've butter got, out. I've got the right. butter out, yeah. OK. Right, pinch of baking powder. Mm-hmm. Like so. And, and then also... OK, why the baking powder then, Baking powder is going to help it lift. It's going to okay. be our raising agent. Although self-raising flour obviously 
has got raisin agents mm -hmm. in it, this is going to help it give it lift. Oh, how does it compare to yeast? I mean, I know, but tell the people out there, because a lot of people just think, oh, bread's got to be yeast, but that's not the case, no, because no, you and a lot of the other guys can't just knock, knock something up like this. Well, yeast, yeast you can activate with warm water and sugar. It's a mm. live, it's actually a live product. Yeah, OK. And what happens is, you prove it up, you prove it a couple of times, <laughs> sorry about the uh, shirt, the rain, <laughs> and you prove it up, you prove it a couple of times, yeah. knock it back, and you use the yeast to, that feeds off the sugar and the warm water yeah. as your raisin agent. Okay. This way, we will basically, a bit of baking powder and self-raising flour... Which is an gives, active, uh, active raising ingredient, ingredient, yeah. ...gives it lift. OK. Into this, we're going to put some milk as well. I'm going to also going to do cheese in there and rosemary. OK, cheese. Any herbs going in there, rosemary. Chef? Rosemary. Rosemary. Yeah. Sorry, we're I didn't quite catch that. We're going to at the top with rosemary. Oh, lovely. Yep. That's going to be good. All right, a bit of bread so, coming your way then, John. Oh, right. I think that'll be enough. Is I, that think, I think that's, that's probably that's enough. enough. You've I've done got an so amazing much job. I know. <laughs> You've got cabbage coming out your ears. Right, now this one. I'm going to come back okay. and see you in a minute, right, Chef. Then. OK, thanks very much. All right, yeah. we're down here, and we're in the uh, Red Tomato Kitchen. Do you know the Campos? OK. Cooking down the goat's cheese and a little bit of cream. Am I right, what, Chef? What I got? The first thing for the pasta, OK? Yeah. I always say a big bowl of uh, a big pan with a lot of water mm. and a, bit, you know, a lot of salt, because yeah. when you cook pasta, it's not point to put any oil in there. It's waste of money. Just make sure there is a lot of water. So mm. when you put the pasta in, allow all the pasta to move around. It's the air, it's around. oxygen and everything. You're really filling it up. Yeah, I should you mean. It's like ice skating. OK. You move it there, and then the pasta goes down, and then you pull it over, all stuff like that. <laughs> and then you do a... Uh, Six. <laughs> <laughs> right? See, now, correct. We, see, correct, really? <laughs> OK, now, okay. we did the uh, porco spino. Is Unfortunately, it doesn't come really nice yeah. because the, ma the mango is too hard. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> normally one of my ancestors says that, the mango. <laughs> <laughs> the mango? <laughs> yes, the mango is too hard. Okay. The mango is too hard. When it's too hard and you pull it, yes. and it kind of breaks. OK, that's but all right. Okay. panic, it's going to soften into the oven with a little bit of honey, a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of chili. chili. And it's going to be beautiful. Okay, slow baked. Slow right, baked. Chef. Beautiful. Okay, now we got the monkfish, okay? okay. Like uh, every monkfish in this world, you've mm. got a bone in the middle. Mm -hmm. So the best thing to do is, is actually deep bone. So with a sharp knife, go around the bone, the one in the middle, okay? Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do, we take half of this one, half of this one which we're just going to char grill it, mm -hmm. nice and healthy. And the other half, we're going to prepare a beautiful sauce yeah. with aubergine and shallot. Okay. Now, most important things. This is that, this is that. The cheesy sauce that I'm preparing. I got a little bit of double cream, uh -huh. no salt, because the goat cheese can be a little bit salty. We put the salt at the end, and then I'm melting the goat cheese into the cream. Mm. The one important thing is in there is pepper. Pepper. You need to give a little spicy. OK. You do you like it a little bit spicy, Sinead? I love it a little bit spicy, I do. Ah, that's kind of good, then, See? isn't it? Eh? A little bit of paprika, yeah. so you get a kind of a uh, yeah. red, uh, spicy colour. OK. okay. So okay, give it a little bit of a hint. And what about this? You said, oh, I love the tagliatelle. Tagliatelle, and they're beautiful. And is it because it's a better quality one then, Chef? Oh, no, because tagliatelle, they cook very quickly yeah. and they're impressive once you cook them. Mm. And my suggestion, don't buy the fresh tagliatelle. Because they, they, they get all clumsy with each other. Get the dry one, nice and beautiful like this one, egg. Egg tagliatelle. Yeah. And usually this one, this yeah. tagliatelle here, they put four egg per kilo. So okay. that's why it's very, very yellow. A kind of a bronze see, colour, isn't a it? a kind of beautiful bronze colour. OK, look for that, guys, when you're out there. And don't forget, spend a little bit more on pasta. It's only a, an extra few pennies we're talking about. OK, 13 minutes to go now. Time is moving on. Now, We've got a beautiful cream sauce reducing Anthony, down here. one thing I want to say is mm. the, um, for the aubergine here, OK? Yeah. Because many people are scared to use the aubergine. I don't know why. They say that it's too bitter or blah, 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 blah. Now, I'll show you the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. I hear you obviously know. I'll show okay. them the best yeah, way to do it. I'll show everybody. So no you problem. get the aubergine, yeah. okay? Before you start to chop it up, the first thing is let's take some of the skin off. Mm. Not all of it. Mm -hmm. Look the way I do it. I take some of it, I leave some. I take some of it, mm -hmm. and I leave some. Because what we want, aubergine, they go sweet inside yeah. and bitter outside. By doing like that, you have the best of both a bit of sweet and a bit of bitter. Okay, okay so that's the way to do mm. it. Now, if you're doing a sauce, mm -hmm. you need to put the aubergine straight away in because they're going to re release a lot of water. And then what about the change of colour too, Chef? Uh, the best way for the change of colour, if we put them, if we chop them up, mm -hmm. we put them into a bowl, 
We put a little bit of salt on it, uh -huh. okay, so it releases the moisture, and uh, just a little touch of lemon. Oh, because right. the lemon juice keeps the color nice and Beautiful. bright. Do you know about all these tips then, Sinead? Hey, uh, you're picking it's up great something picking here. all these tips up. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So just like that, you chop them up, you put mm -hmm. them into a bowl, okay? And a bit of lemon juice a and a touch of salt. A little squeeze of a lemon juice. Quite L a lot of salt. Lovely, because, lovely. Because then it starts to release okay. all the... Uh... Now, what about your routine then, my darling? What are you... Uh, is it something you've been practised on for a while, or is it...? Yeah, well, I mean, basically it's something that um, we had choreographed last summer. We actually trained a little bit with Christopher Dean oh, in really? uh, Colorado, yeah. And yeah, did you, did, did you yeah. write to him, or did he offer, or... How, how did that work out? We... Was it your coach that got it in going? Yeah, well, I mean, our coach, um, Mrs Slater, she knows Christopher Dean as well, and yeah. um, she thought it would be a great idea if we could go to him this season yeah. for our routine. Teens and we contacted him and he emailed us back straight away and said he'd love to work with us. So it was a great yeah, honour. It was fantastic brilliant. because he's never worked with a British champion mm. before. So it was great for us to be able to train it's with him. It's special though, isn't it? It is, yeah. And costume? And did you just let, get somebody else? Oh, you go and do that? Or No, we have yeah. to have some say in the designs of the outfits. I mean, we've seen some people go out in competition. They've got outfits that you just know someone else has chucked on them, like fluorescent orange catsuit or something. <laughs> There's no way we would wear anything like that. Yeah. So, you know, we really like to have a say yeah, in what we're wearing. Our mum does it mostly. Yeah, yeah actually, you should, He's right, yeah, my mum has a big say in the costumes yeah, too, so... And you've got a bit of tartan in there. Do you get a special designer, something like a... We do, actually, yeah. We have someone working on our costumes for yeah. the Olympics. It's going to be new ones from what we wore just um, last week in European Championships, mm. so it's going to be quite special, I think. You know, a little bit of tartan, because we don't yeah. want anything too naff, but, yeah. you know, we've got to have a bit of Scottish flavour in there. You've got to, darling. It's what it's all about, isn't it? It I is. I love all those tartan blends and everything. We'll talk again, I'm sure. sure. And I just wanted obviously... to show, the best yeah. way to do it is put it in the, into one of these... Uh, Cold, yeah. Right? So allow all the excess water to go into a bowl. Okay. okay. So what's happening? The salt is going to drain some of the water and drain it down. Okay. I come. I look forward to seeing that when I come back, Gino. Hey, we're back down here again. Notice the chef hasn't even thought about uh, cooking his veal scots. It's not going to take long, guys. It really isn't. We're talking uh, oh about halfway now, guys. Just past halfway. So think about that. Do you want a smaller knife? Or are you happy with that? Um, maybe maybe a smaller knife. Yeah, a little oh, tiny that's, one there. That's, that's okay, probably, got probably a bit yeah. safer, okay, isn't it? Okay, mate. Yeah. Right, now, what's happening here then, my man? OK, right, leeks, oil, uh, rock salt, yeah. straight into the oven. OK, you've got your cheesy bread in there with cheesy your leeks. Cheesy bread's cooking down. That's looking okay. really good. Right OK, now. you need to leave that in the oven, guys, to make sure that it cooks. I'll show you that later. Just push <laughs> this down. Mm -hmm. This is our mm. rusty. To this, I'm going to add a knob of butter. This yeah. adds richness to it, OK? OK. And it also adds a little bit of colour as well. Yeah. The starch is what holds it together. Salt and pepper in there as well. Uh -huh. Just going to turn this heat down a little bit, Ains. OK. Like mm. so. And we're going to cook this out slowly. And that's actually starting to stick together. Yeah. It's exactly what we want. Yep. Potatoes are cooking down. Mm. Chicken stock, garlic. Use the leeks because they're from the onion family. They've got that flavour. Mm -hmm. This is going to be for our soup. We're going to okay. bring it up to the boil. Comfy red cabbage. This is butter, sugar. Little splash of water to get things going. Yeah. It does take a while to cook. And we're cooking that down like is this, so. Is this going over your head then? You're kind of listening, half listening. It's um, like your mum talking about making your own beans on toast, isn't it? It is, it is. <laughs> I, think, I think the most I can sort of uh, get up is like a ham sandwich or something like oh, that. <laughs> So how did, you, how did you get into this skating, Lark, then? I mean, there are you guys now, you're British champions, you've been off to European championships, we're talking about days away from competing in the Winter Olympics. How did it all begin then, John? It kind of all began, you know, I was kind of the little brother who kind of got dragged along to, um, you know, to watch Big Sis mm. skate when I was like about eight or nine years old. And it just became a, became a case of, you know, I almost got a bit bored, you know, sure. standing there watching, so that I might as well go and give it a try myself. So did, that's... did your friends think it was a bit sissy? Because a lot of the guys think, oh, it's a girly thing, well, really. I think it's a kind of, it's a bit of a British thing that anything Thing, you know, marginally, you know, you know, not football or not rugby, you know, mm. is regarded as a bit sissy. So I did, I got a bit of stick, but you know, yeah. I was kind of, I was kind of tough in the way I could kind of, no, no, this is what I want to do. I'm yeah. enjoying this, so it was good. Yeah. And when you do all those lovely sort of twists and everything, they all go, wow, how do you yeah, do that, man? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think sometimes, you know, people think when they see it, you know, it's all in rhinestones yeah. and fancy costume, they think, oh, so it's a bit, it's a bit girly, isn't yeah. it? Well, maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> but, when uh, you get on the ice, no, 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 game. definitely. I mean, when you, do you get nervous, do you ever get these? Sort of definitely, yeah. definitely. I mean. Sometimes people say to us, you know, it really looks like you guys don't get nervous, and I'm telling you, you get seriously exactly. nervous. You know, sometimes you think to yourself, look, you know, it's not like anybody's going to die here or anything like that. But that it doesn't work. Well, you've got the added bit, haven't you? Because you're, you're you know, you've got the same name, and obviously a lot of people think that Kerr means, oh, they're 
husband and wife, you're actually just brother and sister. That's Does that right. work? Because brothers and sisters row all the time. <laughs> well, actually, do you know, I mean, we do argue a lot of the time, but yeah. um, I think it's, it's kind of like we have a, a really good, you know, rapport with each other. Mm. And even though we do argue, sometimes it's almost less personal in a way. Sure. Because you can kind of kind of call each other for everything and you can kind of, oh, it's, it's nothing personal because sure. your sister, isn't it? Of course, it? it's, it's right. It doesn't matter. Exactly. You go home and have Sunday roast with us. Exactly. Yeah. Or she's going to make it for you, so oh, you better be nice exactly. to her. Exactly. <laughs> too much salt. Exactly. Too much salt, <laughs> Now, look at this. Look at this. They're really just sort of cu cooking down. We've got the mushrooms there. A little hint of butter in there. Sometimes our chefs like to add a little bit of soy to add a little bit of saltiness. I don't right. know what James right, is going to doing. But Ash. also, you yep. just wrap those got in it. leeks, if you're there, chef. Yeah, that's leeks, and got, but it's got cheese in it as well. Okay. Over here, we're going to crush the Beautiful. potatoes. Mm. I just want you to get some herbs, <coughs> put some herbs in there, a bit more okay. salt. Yeah, got Crush it. them down, we're going to make a little potato cake. Okay. Okay. Well. Now, the rosti, I've started off, and what I'm going to mm. do is I'm just going to push it to one side. You see mm. how it's got a nice bit of colour? Yeah. Now that this has been sealed off, I'll just get that end bit. Yeah. That can now be finished in the oven. And all the cheese is going to ooze out, and you're going to, the leeks I haven't blanched because they're so small. Wow. They're going to have a bit of bite to them. Beautiful. Okay? Looking forward to that. Wow. The bread, the bread's You've got almost a there. Busy, busy oven. Look I at the have. bread. Looking fantastic. Roasted leeks. Okay. Now, you see these are soft already. You see what I mean? Great. Quickly, they yeah. cook. Okay, chef. So this goes we'll, straight in the oven. Let's get that in there. Let's the get bread that cooking down. Almost there. All right then. So a little bit longer fantastic. for that. Fantastic. Just turning that up. That's really looking good. All right, I'll come back. Don't forget your other veal there, Chef. No, yeah, it's going now, in. Now, here we are. Gino's just about to put the mango, the hedgehog mango. Well, this one mango. will take about, about five or six minutes. Yeah. Honey on top, a little bit of chilli, a squeeze of uh, uh, lime, and then just a touch to give a nice colour yeah. of the you brown, like the brown sugar. sugar. Oh, yeah, because it's going to get a beautiful colour all around. Mm. And the pasta, what I've done, I cooked some of the pasta before. And if you have a look in the oven, okay. I put it in a nice baking dish, I put the breadcrumb on top. Okay, Hedgecock is then... going in the oven, ladies and gentlemen. Hedgecock also in there. Got... Yeah, lovely. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, Five now... minutes to go. Five minutes, guys. Let me emphasize that point. Oh, okay, we've got aubergine cooking there. We've got a little bit of poached. This I'm one... poaching it because it's a little bit hard. It's a little bit hard, so I'm going to have to poach with a little white one, a little honey, a little bit of sugar, and then we're going to blitz it all Beautiful. together. Beautiful. Now, Sinead, so if we're gonna you get... came eighth in the European Championships. Are you expecting a little bit more? Because when you talk in Europe, now we're talking the world. I know. The expectation is enormous. I think it'll be the biggest competition we've done so far mm. because there's a few past world champions coming back just to compete because it's the Olympic oh, Games. Baby, so they're going to come back in. Dean, no, 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 not this time. <laughs> Actually, Italians problematically oh, yeah, enough. Yeah. But um, no, so it's going to be a really tough competition. But mm. if we could get in the top ten, that'd be a fantastic oh, result yeah. for us. And we're hoping for a medal in 2010. So hopefully that's set up so nice. You build, don't you? It's a gradual thing. And it unlike is. a lot of sports, <clears> people <throat> just keep coming back and back. As you say, a lot of people come out of retirement for it. That's right. Yeah, special. I mean, it's, it, mm. it's, it's a special event, the Olympics. So I guess yeah. it's something that people want to do. And what about the popularity? Why is it suddenly becoming so popular, do you think? I know there was a programme on the other channel and they that's, were, you know, talking right. about that. I mean, well, think it's... when, when Torvald Dean won Olympics in um, 84 and when they came yeah, back please. again in 94, it was spectacularly popular. So, yeah. I mean, it took a bit of a... It went down a little bit for a yeah. while, but I just think it's piquing people's interest at the moment, so yeah. long may it last. <laughs> Tony, yeah. Uh, and do, do you love performing? Do, is there, do you just can't wait to get out there or you, do, do you get a bit tight? Um, we both would say that we'd get a little bit nervous. I mean, I think if anyone, any performer said they didn't get nervous, they, were, they would either be, you know, Absolutely. That's why you train or... so hard, isn't it? Exactly, Wasn't yeah. A great golfer, Gary Player, that once turned around and said, it's funny, he said, the harder I practice, the more I get lucky. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I, I can understand that point of view, yeah. Exactly, no, you because you, just, nervous, you put but... so much effort into it. Let's talk Tagliatelli. Just, just one second. Mm. Secret of making a good plate of pasta. You yeah. make the sauce, like I've done on the side. Yeah. Never the pasta and then the sauce on top. Always the pasta from the pan into the sauce. Yeah. With a little bit of the water, because there is a natural salt that we put inside. Yeah. So like this, what's happening? You are coating the pasta with the sauce. Beautiful. Okay, instead of having this plain pasta on the bottom and then you just lump this sauce on top. Yeah. So, pasta to the sauce, never the sauce on top of the pasta. Yes, sir, Gino, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> sir. <laughs> oh, no, that's important. <laughs> because sometimes you go, you know, some people houses and they give you this plate of pasta okay. with this lump of sauce and you're like, Okay, couple of minutes to go, Chef. Get your okay. food out there. <laughs>
<laughs> Good hint. <laughs> you can't argue it there, can you, you darling? I would like to. You want to get the old pasta out right on your head or something. <laughs> OK, beautiful. Now, the mango, Brilliant. as you say, was a little bit hard. Yeah. So, so I have it to help it down. out a little okay, bit. Chef. Going, mm -hmm. oh, the blade. Where is the blade mm -hmm. in the mixer? OK, I'm going to tell you what, I'll leave you here and I'll come back in a moment. OK. Can you start getting your other plates up there? No problem Help no. yourself to some water or now wine. Now that I have you, I needed the blade. The little blade, blade, Chef, I'll get you one down here. OK, there we are. One blade. Here, use this, Chef, ready to go. There you go. I'll take that one away. OK. All right. That's brilliant. Thank you. OK, and you're putting the mango straight in there, are you? Straight in there. Nice okay. and warm, because we're going to do a nice mango salad. OK, you, lovely. Oh, sorry, Gino. <laughs> right. Whenever you do it, make sure you put it in and it's not too hot. Okay. Otherwise, you go all Take over the place. Out. OK? <laughs> <laughs> OK, Chef, how's it going? Yeah, good. About one minute coming up any moment now, guys. Music's going to kick in there. OK. And the music's playing, which indicates that we really are pressed for time now. Our chefs have to get this food out in less than 40 seconds. Will they be able to do it? John's busy chopping up a bit of basil there, thinking, what can I do with that? He's flying. OK, Sinead's running Smells around like a beautiful. mad lady. All right, now, come on, guys, let's get this food out. Audience, okay. you're going to be voting for what the chef did Poland. with the ingredients uh, they were given. Sorry, think sorry. about that before you hold up your cards. OK, here we go. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop! What am I like? I don't know. To remind you of what our show started off with. James Tatter had in his bag a couple of Vila scallops along with some new potatoes, red cabbage, chestnut mushrooms, Scottish cheddar and baby leeks. Whilst Gino De Campo had monkfish, tagliatelle, goat's cheese, aubergines, mango and banana shirt. <laughs> Sorry. Now... <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing me some triple salka. You're dead right there, mate. Go on, you pick up your cutlery. Right have a bit of a go. What are you going to call this, Chef? Well, I think um, you cheddar get your skates on or you'll be really late. Ah! ah. Right. The bike... Cool. Cool. We like that. Well, we go first. Hey. Start here, start here. Start here. Start here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, okay so what first, you do, Chef? first things first. We've got the veal. We've uh, put mm. some tarragon, some chervil. Uh, bread crumbed it over, rosty potato in here. We've got a little poached egg just to melt over the top of that rosty. With your comfy cabbage, which is a butter sugar, touch of water, cooked it down in time, goes nice and soft, but got a sweetness to it. Mm. So it's lovely. And obviously your runny egg all over the top with the herbs, it just works really well. Yeah. Um, next up, we've got the veal, which we roll, we put the leeks for it, and inside the cheese you can just see is oozing out. We put mm. that onto a herb potato cake, and then we did sauteed mushrooms, really simple, mm. reduction, white wine, cream, basil right at the end. Mm. That goes around the outside. Good. This is the oven roasted uh, leeks as well, yeah, yeah. so they still yeah. got a bit of bite in them again. More comfy cabbage, but I used the rest of the breadcrumbs and gave it a breadcrumb top. So you've got herbs on there, so you've got the sweetness, but then the soundness from the herbs as well. Mm, okay, lovely. so that's in with the cabbage. Our mushroom froth, which is basically a cup full of mushroom soup. Do you want to give that one a Absolutely. little stir? Absolutely. I think you need a bit of bread to dip in there, didn't well, the you? I think so. The, the idea yeah, is you is get this gooey, lovely, gooey, Cheap cheddar, bread. cheesy bread. Dip it in your mushroom froth, and you set a, a real winter warmer for your whenever you're doing your uh, Olympian winter Olympics. That's a fantastic combination. Yeah. That is so good. But everything's so good. He's done a fantastic job. Yeah. Happy? I'm, I'm amazed, to be yeah. honest. Oh, but it's, there you go. It's well absolutely done, brilliant. Yeah, he's done a really good turn for you. Brilliant. Your bro's That's happy, brilliant. isn't he? He is, yeah. yeah. He likes his food, he does. No, I'm <laughs> so sure. <laughs> what about sis? Go on, you have a bit of a try. I certainly will and do. let's find out what you think of Gino's efforts here. What are you going to call them, Gino? I answered him. Well, it figures that there was no skate in, so we got mugfish. <laughs> <laughs> So what you do? Okay, what do we do? We do the pasta with a little bit of the shallot, then we nice. add the aubergine, mm. the little bit of chili, the tomato paste with monkfish, and then the pasta, and then the pasta went into the sauce, not the sauce on top of the pasta, in this case. Yeah. Okay. Then we did a last cream cheese with the goat cheese, then we, we baked it into the oven it's with a little bit of breadcrumbs, mm -hmm. breadcrumbs and herbs, which is fantastic. It goes very, very well on top of the pasta. Then we did a nice grilled uh, monkfish, and we oh, serve it with a mango salsa. So we got a little bit of the spicy and sweet together. See how she gets this one in. Yeah, oh, well done. Well done. Well done. That 
was a gold medal performance, that one, yeah. <laughs> and then we got the uh, spicy honey mango porcospino. Mm. This one here. Mm. OK, porcospino, that sounds delicious. Do you want to cut a little bit of monkfish and... Uh, mm. there we, oh, you try With it, a little bit, do. A little bit of the salsa. One second. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Fantastic! He's horrible. Tell him to get stuffed. Go on, Shalai. No, try with the salsa. It's very, very nice. Because mm. you get the sweetness of the mango. It's a gorgeous combination. Yeah, I'd never think to do that. Yeah. I mean, that's fantastic. Wow. Yeah, yeah, really good. And the chilli oh, in that is lovely as well. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Two gorgeous combinations. No, I'm not talking about Sinead and John. I'm talking about the food, ladies and gentlemen. But <laughs> that's really what good. about our it's gorgeous fantastic. audience? What are they going to vote for? The green peppers or the red tomatoes? Let's oh, find out. Right. Will you gorgeous. all please cheese vote is now? Mm. And up they go. And look at this. It's a bit close, but Ooh. hey, it's a bro day. It's a green Just won hundred pounds. Wow! Which I believe you're going to donate, are you? Well, um, our younger brother David is um, autistic, so mm -hmm. we're going to donate it to his uh, community inclusion team. That's brilliant. Man. No, fantastic. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Brilliant. Give him my love. I will do. Here you Good go. Nice. Yes. Well done. Well done. Don't matter, does it? No, just wait till, get, wait, wait till we get him on the ace tomorrow. I oh, think I'll... No, but he can't cook anyway, can he? <laughs> no, he just He's helped him chop and it wasn't him. <laughs> well, you get to take home our lovely, really silly cook hamper. Sounds lovely, all thank you. All sorts of lovely goods in there. I, I can't tell you guys, I, we, we all wish you, the whole nation wishes you good luck. Definitely. Thank you very much. Right, right behind yeah. you. Thanks, Gino. Thank you. An absolute pleasure. It Thanks. Italian or no Italian, he's a lovely chef, isn't he? He was great, fantastic. Oh, I love working with great. him. Come and join us over here because it's time for the quickie bag. But let's really give him a big chair. Send him off to Turin. I think they're doing a bit of silhouetting behind me, aren't they, these two? Now, let's see what I uh, can offer our chefs today. We've got some beetroot. Uh, these are very good, these kind of vacuum-packed things, you know, because often you buy it fresh, you put it in the fridge and it goes a bit slimy after a while. Some salted capers. <coughs> uh, kippers. Hey, I haven't had those for breakfast no, in ages. Yeah, yeah. Normally when I'm up in Scotland or perhaps Ireland, because we've got some nice soda bread there, uh, along with some salad onions and cream cheese. Well... Nice combination there. Mm. See if our chefs are going to come up with something interesting for you. Well, I, I'm thinking a kind of a, of a mousse that we can create with the soft cheese. Like and a kipper pate uh, type thing. Yeah, so yes. like a pate with the, with the kippers. Then we got this bread. I wonder if we cut in a half, we make like two big bruschetta. Yeah. Uh, maybe we make with a little bit of uh, um, chopped uh, beetroot here and some of the kippers yeah. on top. Uh, or maybe... We give it to James. Yes. You know, he's was, passing uh, the buck, isn't he? Oh he's God. passing the buck. He said, I've had enough of this. I'll take one look at this. It's over to you, Don't worry, Gino. What can you come up with, James? Right, OK. We could split the onions, griddle them up, mm. um, use half of one of the soda fowls, stack that on top mm. with a grain mustard cream sauce, a poached egg, and some poached kippers. Mm -hmm. OK, so like big old brunch dish. OK. Kipper pate. Um, with a caper dressing, mm -hmm. and then also we take the cream cheese, and I'll show you how to do a beetroot and cream cheese stacked up gatto. Mm -hmm. Okay, beetroot. All uh, right, now let's see how many uh, green peppers James is going to get then. <laughs> might, be to might be tomatoes. <laughs> Hopefully, all of you. Oh, no. <laughs> or is it going to be a red tomato day? Audience, it's up to you. Green pepper, red tomato. Will you all please vote now? Oh, have a quick look at this, guys. Ooh. It's a bit close, isn't it? Ooh. It's a bit close, but Gino... Can be close. I only got one vote. <laughs> 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 close. You're off the hook, mate. It's a James Tanner bag. Let's get Yay. cooking. All right. Oh. Okay, your ten minutes cooking time chef starts now. Let's Take what you want. Do the pate. Okay. okay. Yeah. Any dressing or yeah, caper dressing, mate? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's get going. Now, what do you uh, want me to do, thanks. Chef? Um, if you could do the bruschetta, uh -huh. um, and we've got some beetroot cheese up, I need a couple of them. I'll put a char grill pan on, and what we do is we can toast the fowl as well now, straight off. OK. OK, so they're all on the heat. Mm-hmm. James, how many of these people I can take? Uh, take? Take two fillets. That'd be fine. In the meantime, mm -hmm. I'm going to get a little bit of milk on, put a bay leaf in there, a bit of black pepper, and we're going to do the old kippers. This reminds me of uh, doing breakfast services now. Really? Do you remember from, all those from days? The, from the past. I know, mate. Getting up really the crack of dawn really early. 
Right, you want me to do the beetroot, Seth, do you? Bit of yeah, a bit of, bit of a salsa, a mixed salsa, Rains. OK. And we'll stick it on, we'll stick it on some of that. Mm. I, need a, I need a couple of them as well. Oh, look at these. Oh, dear. They are very... What are you going to do to me? They're very... What are we going to do? <laughs> you be careful now, Miss Harriet. <laughs> I don't want none of that in my kitchen. <laughs> oh, dear. These are a bit all right, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, I can't get them on. Oh, I don't want to go near you. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> oh, look at me nails. I've just had them done. <laughs> oh, dear. That's oh. why you Englishmen have a bad reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it, Gino. There you go. All right now, Chef. There you go. Right. Now, you could probably be thinking at home, ladies and gentlemen, why is he wearing that? rubber gloves? It's called beetroot juice, or beetroots in general. It's going to make your fingers a bit sort of red dye. That's why I'm using them. I don't know why I'm actually using them, because it's a bit, bit awkward trying to get hold of anything here. I've got rather big hands. Right, the beetroot salsa, what would you like in there? OK, if you can put... Um, get some mixed herbs in there. Oh, oh, excuse me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take two of them. OK, you can have right, two so, of them. Right, I'm toasting off your um, fowl to put on, you, obviously, for your salsa. OK. Take uh, one of these onions. Just one of them. Yeah, certainly. Take that yeah. big one, please. Ains, mm -hmm. I'll give you uh, one of the spring onions to put through it as well. OK. OK. Yeah. And a couple of some herbs as well. Maybe a touch of uh, vinegar. Mm -hmm. as well, to no give it that little sweet and sour bit. Yeah. I'm griddling these off quickly. These are going to be I can't be bothered with these bit. things. Uh, <laughs> oh. God, oh. easy now. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Mm. Right. So. Lovely. OK, we're going to be cack cracking away. Gino, what about the old kippers? Popular back home in Italy? Uh, not at all. <laughs> no? Not at all. I mean, we... Very, very rarely we have things that they smoked or they marinate in this way. Yeah. Um, because in, uh, where I come from, in the south of Italy, we tend to use uh, fish, um, you know, we tend to kind of grill the fish or use it then and there. We don't usually, we don't usually have things like smoked salmon or smoked keeper or stuff like that. You don't but need to, of course. But you're down here, you're talking about Naples. Does it vary depending on what part of the country you're in? It depends. In? I was going to say that it depends on what part of the country. Because if you go on north, uh, north, I mean Rome uh, onwards, yeah. you will find very much that they use things more. Because, of course, if they can get the fish, they're going to have to use it somehow. Sure. And the best way to do is smoke it or, you know, mm -hmm. preserve it. Can I use one of this one? Yeah. Or do you need all no, of them? No, you can yeah. just take yeah. it, mate. Yeah, take it. Because I want to do some grilled, um, what is it called, Irish bread. A soda bread. Soda bread. Like, like soda files, but they're very popular in Ireland as a, as a kind of a breakfast thing, you know, and you put a fried egg on top. Real simplicity, but so lovely and tasty. It's got that kind of a very nice texture to it. Right, so I've got a bit of cream cheese here. Yeah. Salt and pepper in there and some dill. Lovely, fresh flavour. Very strong flavour, if you mm -hmm. like. Do you need to herbs. knock that down, Chef, or just no, you want it no, nice and dense? No, I'll show you why. OK. What we've got is a piping bag. Yeah. This also works, this, what I'm about to do, with uh, goat's cheese as well, if anyone wants to try it. OK. And what we do is, like so, into the bag. Mm-hmm. OK, halfway now, guys. Yep. We'll keep this going. OK. Uh -huh. And I've got a very quick question here, which comes courtesy of Jamie McDonnell from Wanstead in London. Good afternoon to you, Jamie. It says here, every time I try to make a souffle, it ends up sinking. How do I stop this happening? Do you want to take that, Chef? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> OK, uh, to stop it sinking, it's all about aeration. Um, don't knock your egg whites back too much. Don't over whip your egg whites too much okay. either. These are definitely points that you've got to consider. And also be gentle with it. Don't, like, throw it around. Don't slam your oven door. Mm -hmm. Little things like that all count when you're doing a souffle. OK, definitely, really so. try and keep when the air in it. When you're using... If you're using a custard base and you're mm -hmm. using the egg whites, uh, when you fold it in, be gentle as you yeah. fold it. Don't, don't really knock it around. But and it's, uh, it also, we've got to consider that it's uh, not too light because some people just put too much egg white exactly. in. Exactly. So as soon as it comes out of the oven, you've just, it, you can tell it's just too light. 
and it literally will fall. Okay, you've also got to make sure that you kind of grease the outside yep. and maybe flour or sugar, depending on whether you're doing sweet or savoury, and then wipe the top a little bit so you get a nice even rise. People tend to let a little bit slop over the edge, and that's when you get that kind of angled thing. Did, did you say butter, butter the, um, the mould, butter yeah. and sugar the mould? Because otherwise, when it rises, if you don't, it'll pull it back and pull it down. Okay, yeah. there you go. Lots of uh, just simple general rules that you've got to apply. And uh, maybe, Jamie, you know, check out your... If you have a cookbook, have a look at different varieties. Maybe even get on the website or something like that and find out, you know, inform yourself a little bit more. Then you'll be a lot more confident when you're cooking, all right, mate? OK, what do you want, lime or lemon juice in there, Chef? Uh, a bit of lemon, please, Ains. OK, mate. It'll be lovely. And I'll put chervil and, and uh, dill in there, if you're happy with that. Yep. Bit of dill. Okay. I've got dill on this one as well. So what we do is just stack out a great uh, summer light dish, this one. Like mm -hmm. I said before, works well with goat's cheese. If I just take the rest of this, what I do is I bang up a quick dressing to go around the outside as well. Right. And you do me a favour, you chuck me an egg in there for a yeah, poached egg. Yeah, no problem, mate. That's great. I've got vinegar in the water and everything. OK, I'll give it a swirl. I'll get that going. Time's moving on. OK. Right, and you're, you're poaching them off in a little bit of milk. Bay leaf milk, Bay leaf. salt and pepper. OK. What we do now, I get a pan <coughs> on the stove. And the reason I'm whisking that round is going to um, bring all the albumin together as it goes around, it kind of swirls around the pan there, and that will cook off. You got the vinegar in there, didn't you? Yes, chef? I have. Yeah. OK, so that will all happen. Fantastic. How are you getting on, Gino? Huh? Fantastic. Yeah, you're happy? The way I like to do the pate is with the little bit and pieces inside. So instead of putting in a blender, I like to chop everything by hand, mm -hmm. and then I put in the cream cheese with a little bit of yogurt so it gives a nice, um, a sharp flavor. Yeah. And then olive oil, a little bit of uh, chive, a little bit of lime juice, and this is the kind of texture that I like to get with all the little pieces inside. Because I don't like when the pate is too smooth. Okay. I like to have a nice... A little bit uh, of texture. A little bit of texture, yes. Okay, have you got the oliora? Yes, there yep. we are. A little bit of oil going in there. So I'm just going to put in one of these uh, rings because I think they look very, very nice when they're on the table. Okay, my Lovely, yeah. Lovely. Let's check out that little uh, egg. Ooh. Are you happy with that? Uh, get this pan out of the way. I keep stripping on that pan. Okay. Let's, right, uh, get that out. so I've got a bit of white wine go. here, a bit of grey mustard, Ainsley. Quick yeah. reduction. This is what we're going to pour over the egg at the last minute. All right. We're going to get this two uh, simmering together, take it down, finish it with cream, knob of butter, bit of salt and pepper, glaze it straight over the top of our kippers. Okay. All right, so All lovely. Right, then. Lovely. I could take this straight out and put that straight on the top. I want to take it out now, Chef. I don't want to allow that to cook anymore. And that's okay. Now, guys, I'm just potting this into a little bit of water. It's not. It's kind of almost like tepid water. It's not going to totally... Do... Oh, it's got oh, one minute, Chef, oh, so you well, might as well... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you want to keep them, you can poach your eggs off in advance. You can perhaps have a little bit of ice water, pop that in there, it will stop the cooking process. Then you can hit it in there again just before you're serving it, OK? Otherwise, it's difficult, especially if you've got a dinner party or something like that. Oh. OK, where do you want the Chef fee? Um, it's going to go on top of the kippers in, a min in, uh, in not a minute, in 30 seconds. OK, then, I'll just leave that edge there. Salsa, what do you want done with that? Right, chef? salsa, I've got a bowl there for you, and I've also got one of these left over for you, Ainsley. OK. So you can stack in that, or even on the plate if you want. OK. Just want a bit of beetroot salsa, and he's got the... Uh, hey, Gino, here, look at this. Look, 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 and look. look. Someone, yeah. yeah. There you go, my man. Just Probably some few. on top as well, if you can. There you go. Fantastic. A little bit of that around there. That's looking good. Fantastic. OK. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two... Wow. Okay. Very nice indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, the boys did good, as they say. Tell us what you're going to call this, Chef. Well, I think these soda fowls are so good, if you can't beat them, join them. All right, yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. OK, we're going to have a bit of a try of everything. Tell us what we did, then. Right, OK, so we toasted off the soda fowls, mm. uh, put the spring onion, chargrilled them off so you get that lovely crispness, but also the cooked, um, mm -hmm. like, chargrilled taste to them, really. Okay. Uh, poached off the kippers, milk, pepper and a bay leaf, a lovely poached egg on top. Then we did the white wine with the cream and the grain mustard at the end there. And it just, it just works, you know, with kippers and that. Stuff like that is classic. Yeah. Um, took the cream cheese, salt and pepper, bit of dill in there as well, cut 
even circles out. Mm -hmm. Then we've got balsamic um, dressing around the outside, dill going through the cream, stack it all up, and there you have it, a gatto. Lovely. And then you did your salsa. Very good salsa. Literally, just put a bit of spring onion in there, or as we say, salad onions now, yep. and a few really nice herbs. Do you know, we haven't got time for you to explain. We've run out that's of time, okay. ladies and gentlemen. But of course, that's why we've got CFAX and our website, bbc.co.uk forward slash food. All the recipes will be there. Don't forget to support John and Sinead Kerr. See you soon on Ready, Steady, Cook. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.